things are a little different, look a little different today because my desktop PC, I have to remember the camera is over here. It's the, over desktop, here. <laughs> the desktop PC um, crashed on me the other night. Um, and so I'm in the position where we are doing this from the iPad this week, possibly next week. It depends on how soon I can get it fixed. Um, there is probably a big possibility it's graphics card. Um, so I have to buy a new graphics card. Um, like most things, when it, when things snowball, it happens at the worst possible <laughs> time. I was in the middle of a or end of a project uh, for a client, so they have been gracious and understand. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> um, but we have some fun things to talk about uh, today. First, something's coming out today that I really, really want to see. Um, I don't know that we're going to get to the IMAX to go see it, but um, Uncharted comes out today. So I'm super excited about that. Um, mm -hmm. I think Tom Holland was an interesting choice. So we'll see. Uh, I was really rooting for Nathan Fillion to do it. He had posted a kind of a teaser thing um, that I had my fingers crossed on. Uh, Nathan, of course, is the captain from Firefly. And being a Kentucky brown coat uh, running the group, I was, you know, pulling for pulling for him. I'm going to see if I can see chat uh, here. And I'm assuming when somebody says something that it'll pop up. If not, I will take a look at, uh, I'll have the app up on my phone. We're having to kind of wing it this morning and uh, figure it out. But, um, so... Project I was working on was a children's book for someone, Heather Smith, and it's called "The Light Will Find" or "Light Will Find Our Door." It's about the solstice, and uh, I've been working on it for a couple of months now, and um, super excited to release it. But speaking of children's books, three of the books that I absolutely love that I keep on my shelf nearby um, for inspiration. Joe Todd Stanton um, has written three, actually four books. There's a fourth one that I don't have yet. Um, there is Marcy and the Riddle of the Sphinx. It's the Brownstones Mythical Collection. I absolutely adore the illustrations on these. Hmm. Arthur and the Golden Rope. And I love how the, the foil treatment, you can see the gold foil on it. And Kai and the, Con the Monkey King. So, these three, and of course, there were maps involved. <laughs> Why is there not maps involved with me? But the illustrations on the end pages alone are mm -hmm. absolutely swoon-worthy. But throughout the book, it's just... The illustrations are, are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Um, it reads kind of like a children's book slash graphic novel in some parts. And they're not afraid to go, you know, different directions and try new angles. But all of these are, I highly recommend. Um, this one's probably my favorite. Hey, Jill! So good to see you. Miss you. We're talking children's books. We're doing it from the iPad today because my desktop PC is dead. So I've got to get that. Yeah, I got to get that fixed because I was mid work session and it's not good. But you can see why this is probably my favorite because it goes into a lot of uh, Norse mythos in this one. And that's Arthur and the Golden Rope. And then. The last one is Kai and the Monkey King. Oh, wrong one. That one first. Marcy and the Riddle of the Sphinx. So 
So this one has another set of mats. Yeah, this is... Did I talk about this one? I don't think I talked about these before. If I have... If I'm duplicating content, I apologize. But I love these. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? But these are some of my favorite inspirations. If I get stuck, I just start rumming through my children's books. The other thing that I love doing, that both of us love doing, is world building. And so this one is How to Be an Explorer of the World. It is a portable life museum by Carrie Smith. Carrie Smith is the one that does Wreck This Journal. And um, absolutely love them. But this is, you know, how to use your senses to create different things, collect materials based on texture, uh, glue the textures to a sheet of paper, um, you know, alternate them and you know, make little tactile boards. Um, look with, you, with all your eyes. Look, Jules Verne. And... Accidental Art, Becoming Letter and Cohen. Um, there's just a bunch of different activities in here. And I love the surface pattern, the illustration on that one. It's just cool. But um, the goggles of enhanced perception so you can make mm -hmm. film color. And it looks, what's funny is it looks like uh, Amberleth on there. Because, yeah, they've got electrical tape, plastic tube, acetate. So it's basically what I used to use for color separations eons ago, uh, back <laughs> in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I still have a roll of amberlith, I think, um, somewhere. But, so this is a observe, collect, use your senses. And it's got a lot of activities that I thought were really cool for doing descriptors. Looks like a book my daughter brought home from school library last week, but that was Let's Make Some Great Art, which was lovely too. Yeah, there's, um, I'm trying to think of all the books that they've done. Uh, see if I have them listed. No, of course not. So, but this one is, hmm. this one came, it's by Penguin, came out 2008, so I've had this a while. <laughs> so, this one's really good. There's another one um, that I'll post a link to that's world building centric, so we will talk about that one in chat. Whoop. Everything kind of precarious here. So, Val's got a, a couple of, looks like comic books. Graphic novels. Graphic novels. Today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this first one is one they made a film of, which was okay. Um, I preferred the reading, but this is two parts, but this is the first part, and this is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Dun, dun, dun. All of we have two copies of favorite old literary each. characters from the 19th century. Uh, the Invisible Man, uh, Mina Harker, you know, uh, Captain Nemo, you know, all these different characters compiled into a story of them being investigators of various sorts, uh, and kind of early superheroes, I guess, is a good word for it. Uh, interesting. Almost anti-heroes. Well, yes, yeah, in many cases, about, like, yes. Dorian Gray. Um, there's and... even there's even um, like a warning in here from the authors to parents who don't want their children reading various sorts of material to just omit those sections, which is really funny. <laughs> yeah. I have to wonder if that was in there from, like, the beginning. You know, it's just really Or funny. if that was added. Yeah. Uh, the second one that I have here is a <laughs> kind of an 80s outer space King Arthur and that's the only Space way that opera. I can descri describe that. Yes, absolutely. It is Brian Boland and Michael Barr, or Mike Barr. Uh, this is Camelot 3000. And you have, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, 
I have the individual comic in issues. Swedish. For this. No, they're English. Oh, they're English? They are, they okay. are English, yeah. No, but I... F- I f- oh, yeah, we were in so that... Our friend uh, Rickard sent us a big we box. We were in... Uh, where comic were books we? and stuff Well, yeah, that's Swedish. how it started, actually, was because yeah. there were issues I, I have in Swedish. And I was... But I only had, like, maybe two. And I looked around, and there were, like, 13 mm-hmm. for this. And you found them at half price, I think. I found, well... Didn't we find out almost all of them? There or at that little one in Cincinnati, up near, yeah. C- up near Cincinnati, what is it, Super City or whatever it was, up there. Uh, um, it's not Arcane, Arcadia Comics. Arcadia Comics, in yeah. In Cincinnati, it's really yes. good. I'll link them. They had them all, and they were all like a dollar fifty each, mm-hmm. $2 each at most. So I just picked the whole batch of like 13 comics up. Over here, so I'm not going so, to the But camera. later on, I found, and this is well-loved, of course, um, this was laying in a half price books one day and I was like, oh, I have to have that. <laughs> I could, I couldn't work there. I worked for Barnes and I, I'd Noble. I'd have half a paycheck every, every couple yeah, of weeks or whatever. I, yeah, I had, uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. I had to set guide when I worked for Barnes and Noble and when I worked for Books a Million, I had to... Set aside twenty dollars out of my check each week just to pacify my book fix, um, and because mm-hmm. otherwise, and I'd have if I wanted something that was more expensive, I would have to I would roll it over. That was my rule, um, because just and dollar tables were dangerous. Oh yeah, um, because I saw everything yes, before it went out. Yeah, <laughs> all of our bar, all of our bargain section when I worked at Walden Books. It had just about anything that you could think of. It had hardcovers. It had table books. You know, like big photography. Yeah, the coffee table style books. books. I want to uh, do one had, of those actually. It had novels that often you wanted to read, but were the hardcover. Mm-hmm. And if you I wanted, got all the Stephen if Kings you were a hardcover reader, you for a dollar each. were in love because it was like the hardcover of a book that you would yeah. pay seven or eight dollars for was three ninety nine. Or two ninety nine. Yeah. We were just like oh. we had dollar we had dollar books that were like you were that that guy from the artwork thirty dollar oh. thirty dollar you know, it was books <laughs> for a dollar because the the slip cover was printed wrong or something. But yeah, you were, so Geo's you were like the, you were the guy from the Monet from Monet no yeah. no Monet um uh, the the scream Munch Alfred Munch. Something like that. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember now. I'm butchering it. The artwork, so, the scream. The yeah. guy that's like... <laughs> yeah. So Gio, Gio says, I have a few of the... I've got my chat on my phone. Says, I have a few of the Ghibli graphic novels. Howl's mm-hmm. Moving Castle and Totoro and the Diane oh, Wynne Jones books that Howl's based on. I have a copy of the paperback for Howl's Moving Castle. So I have um, Diana's book. The graphic novels, I have a... I chanced upon at the local bookstore that's sadly now closed, Ruby Books. Um, hardcover in the slipcase, two books. It's huge. It's normally really super it expensive. No, no. Um, it's big, but um, the it's all done in sepia, mm-hmm. and it is the mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Um, the manga, so you've mm-hmm. got to read from back to front. Yeah, it's left, right. It's all right, left. sepia yeah. ink, mm-hmm. um, and it's the Studio Ghibli library, which I didn't even know was a thing. I didn't even know they had it. So now I really would like to get all of them. I don't know how many there are. Have you read House of Many Ways? It is my favorite. No, I have not. Um, I will put that on my list though and check that out i have this urge to like go over to my keyboard and google something and i can't and it's driving me crazy um, <laughs> ah, so we'll get through it we'll get through it but um but yeah there's there's a lot of there's a lot of books on my my list it's the same characters <gasps> so it's another Wait a second. It's another Howl's Moving Castle? She wrote... Ooh, she wrote more. I'm going to have to... Yeah. So, 
<laughs> I'm definitely pulling that up later. I did not know that and so am totally Diana out of the Lynn loop. Jones, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am totally out of the loop apparently. It's funny because the only book I ever see like marketed on children's bookshelves at like bookstores is Howl's the one that's Howl's that's Moving Castle. Castle yeah. yeah. And Castle in the Sky. Mm. Yeah, Castle in the Sky, uh, Nausicaa, Porco Rosso. Yeah, Valley of the Wind, yep. Mm -hmm. the, all, the, all the Ghibli stuff, I absolutely adore. Um, I, delivery service. One of our, uh, what is it, Castle Caglio? Caglio Rosto. Uh, Cag Cagliostro? Cagliostro. Cagliostro. Cagliostro, yeah. Is really Cagliostro. good, and it's one of... Hayao Miyazaki's early ones, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Hayao Miyazaki, not the other one. I can't remember. But what I found out... He collaborates with uh, the one director was, all the time, though. and so Yeah. What I found out was The Last Unicorn is a secret Ghibli... Um, secret Ghibli film is what they're calling it. But... Uh. Hayao Miyazaki was working on the project and with the other animators for The Last Unicorn, he hired all of them to make Studio Ghibli. So I thought that was an interesting little trivia bit. Um, so Hayao Miyazaki hired all the animators that he was co-working with to form Studio Ghibli from The Last Unicorn. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, speaking of special, special secret things, um, I have been making tunnel books on the YouTube. Oh, Castle in the Air, the second Hell book. Okay, cool. I'll take a look at it. So, this is a mock-up for a tunnel book. And so, it's very crude. I've been doing these on Twitch. Um, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to, even if it's sharing my iPad, um, if there's a way I can do Twitch and broadcast. I won't be able to do the gaming just yet, but I'll see if I can find a way to do Your art, night. even if it's yeah, even if night. it's Procreate, um, and I'm doing digital stuff. So we'll see. Um, but keep an eye on Twitter. Because Twitter is where I post all my updates for um, Twitch. So, and it, that's Run Million. I'm Run Million everywhere. So, but this is a tunnel book, and basically, you can, it acts kind of like a little mini theater set. So, you can do things on different layers, similar to how they originally did, and I don't know if they still do this or not, but how they originally did. Uh, Disney did like Snow White um, where they have plates of glass with the artwork on it and it's painted I think it was painted directly on the glass and they have a camera that from the ceiling looks down hmm. so it would be set up kind of like that and the camera would look down through and therefore Interesting. see all the the layers so that would add depth to it um, so it's very similar and then you would do either from the side or from the top like this one I can switch it and do from the side I would normally have some kind of wire instead of paper, but this is a mock-up. So you would do something from the side, but I did this one from the top so that since it was the owl, it would come in this way. And then you can do it in different layers. So if I wanted behind the tree, I could do that. But I'm making these um, mock-ups for doing dioramas so that I can do either product photography or do book trailers for some of my children's books. So I have 
this one that I did for uh, the Owl and the Mermaid. And then this last week, I wanted to make another one. So I got a little fancier with the front piece and did a little theater. And then I was in a map mood because I taught maps that day. I have not done the backdrops for it yet. So it's just this part. And um, for Illustration Club mm -hmm. for March, we're doing colored pencils. For April, we're going to do tunnel books, if anybody's interested. So I can show you how to make it out of cereal boxes and, you know, cardstock or make your own cardstock with typing paper. There's a lot of different things. So um, for this one, I've decided I'm going to do tree and rocks with a lantern and water. And then there's going to be a little Viking ship that's going to come in. <laughs> from the side, um, just as a fun little, you know, photography project and to show my art students, my uh, map illustration students that some of the things that you can do with your maps. Um, so it was just a, a fun little joy project for myself mostly. I love working with paper, I love drawing and the paper theaters have always been a, a really cool thing for me. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to drink some more coffee. And our coffee today is Post Alley. Post Alley. Post Alley Seattle's Best. We're stuck on the Seattle's Best Coffees. Um, need to get some, some more. When we get a chance, we're going to go up to Lexington and get some Hawaiian uh, coffee from Badass Coffee Company, which I had actually uh, been to in Oahu years and years and years ago. Um, I was in my early 20s, I think, and um, mid-20s probably, and I spent 14 days in Oahu, and it was amazing, um, but it'd be a fun holiday activity with the kids. Yeah, actually, that'd be great. Um, you can do a little paper theater for, um, for Easter, have a bunny hopping through, doing some, hiding some eggs and stuff. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to play with that now. <laughs> um, one of the things I'm wanting to do is, uh, Saturday, if I can get the thing to work, um, is I'm designing more matchbox kits for the, um, like I've got the little Gnome matchbox that has stuff. Um, how did it go? Oh, okay, no problem. Give the kids my love. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Catch the replay afterwards. I'm going to have links for, for everything down there, too. And I'll mention the stuff that you talked about. Because I would definitely love to check out more Ghibli books. <laughs> love you, bunches. Stay well. Stay safe. But, yeah, the, um... Saturday, if I can do it, one of the things I want to do is do um, the Yeti matchboxes mm -hmm. because I have I still have the Gnome ones for sale in my Etsy shop, so I will list uh, link that down below. In fact, the store link is probably already listed on there, and I just have to update for stuff today. Um, and so I'm working on the Yeti one for that. Um, I want to do book trailers in this form because it's just fun, you know, um, being able to do like time lapse or do stop motion, you know, with a little paper theater mm. is just too, you know, too much fun for me. Um, I do have an announcement that da, 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 this little piggy is out. It is not available right this moment because I have pulled it because they have made an error um, on it so I have to get that re-uploaded and fixed and it was not something on my end it was something because my files were correct um, but they added a couple of extra pages on the end and they did not go full bleed on the edges on the rest of it so we have this little piggy and otherwise, I'm thrilled with how it turned out because the, the color on it is great. And you have a little book plate that looks like it's taped in. And everything's 
full bleed on the cover and correct, but... But the inside pages. But the inside pages, they have this white uh -huh. margin on every page for some reason, and, and that was not like that in my file. And you, yeah, and you said your the back pages yeah, are I got, not yeah, additional, well, they were added, like yeah. they weren't part of your file. Okay, right? so they, they always add, if you're self-publishing and you're using Ingram, they always add a blank page at the end, so you'll have to figure out your formatting and everything um, because of the barcode, because it's self-published. Mm -hmm. What was not in the file and what was not supposed to be added, and I understand pagination. This had nothing to do with pagination. They stuck in two extra blank pages. So if they're not going to be able to correct that, I need to maybe make a little comment because I have a coloring page in here um, is maybe make a little comment that you can use the next two pages to draw your own piggy. <laughs> I don't know how else to deal with it. Yeah. Um, if they're going to leave that in, but again, I will still have to upload another file. Um, it's got discussion questions in the back and it's got For reading groups. Yeah, yeah. that's great. So, um, yeah. The only reason that was added and the coloring page and all that was because of the fact that they require at least 18 pages um, because it's super thin. You can't even get any kind of spine artwork or anything on there. So it's like, but um, I, had, I want to do maybe expand on it, do a hardcover book, um, but... I'm very happy otherwise. And there's lots of little lots of little Easter eggs and spoilers in here. Like the book that Piggy is reading is actually a graphic novel that I'm working on called Yeti and Luna. It's about a Yeti and a moon rabbit. Um, mm. The little mm. poster mm. in the back is Clementine from Clementine's Garden. Oh. This book uh -huh. is The Owl and the Mermaid. And so, um, and then of course we had the, the photo bomb with the crazy chicken. So that's how the crazy chicken started. And the crazy chicken is back here on the coloring page, across from the coloring page. So, but, uh, it's very, it's very nice to hold it in my hand. It's very cool. Um, despite the, the errors on it, so, and I have friends in the little pictures, mm -hmm. so we have Julius, our panda, and we have um, Easter egg is a joke, one of my little flowers, uh -huh. there's Yeti and Luna mm -hmm. in there, there's our friend Drac, he loves gorillas, so I did a, he wanted a gorilla upside down grabbing bananas, so I did that, <laughs> and uh, my daughter and her partner, so there's Issa and Josh as a fox and the golden retriever. <laughs> the golden retriever thing's a joke, um, inside joke. And then I have Magic Kitty Pixie. I almost said Magic Pity Kitty, like I did the one time. <laughs> I that became a sticker. Yes, it did. That ended up becoming yes, a sticker did. on live stream. There's, so Magic. There's, there's a sticker. Yep. Pixie Magic Kitty Pixie, who has been here on uh, chat before I think um, is one of my Patreon patrons and is on my Twitch subscriber for my Twitch and I was tired I was doing art and uh, one of our other one of my other followers poet who's part of my guild in Guild Wars 2 which I'm having withdrawals from right now. In fact, I need to probably log in on your computer so that I can get the daily. You get the daily before um, seven o'clock tonight. Yeah. Yeah. If you need to. Well, you I can didn't do that. yesterday, so I may not have it. Well, anymore. no, it's there till seven till they reset it. If you log in today before that, oh, okay. it should be fine. But um, just don't don't wait till after seven. Yeah. Till the reset. But um, so. Uh, poet was in there and. Said so he's like okay I want I want stickers I want stickers <laughs> so I ended up drawing Magic Pity Kitty um, mm -hmm. as uh, a sticker so I have those available and I have a sticker page on my website now 
So I will link to that and I'm slowly getting everything in uh, Etsy. That's the hardest part is getting writing the listings. I can create stuff all day long. Mm -hmm. Writing the listings is the, the pain in the butt part. <laughs> so, and I'm still looking for ways to um, do it completely off my site and not um, through PayPal and not have to deal with Etsy at all. But we'll see. Um, I don't want to spend $35 a month on Shopify. I don't think that's a good use of resources. So we will figure it out. Um, mentioned Uncharted starts today. We just finished... Uh, six of the seven ish, uh, Yeah, episodes. six of the seven is is uh, issues. Episodes. Episodes. Can't talk today. Of... Um, Season three of Discovery of Witches, which is really good. We're Music's hooked. really good too. Yeah, the music was really good. Mm -hmm. um, which there's a Tune Find channel that you, or website that you can put in your favorite shows, and it'll list what music is played during the shows, which is awesome. Um, I think that's how I found out about um, the song Spoon from the one episode of Buffy. I want to say it's when she was bad mm -hmm. um and chibamato who was one of my favorite groups um or used to be i haven't heard anything new from them in a while so i don't know but um that one particular album was really good but i was looking at the music from a discovery of witches last night and there's some really really good music mm -hmm. um so we have our last episode for that for the end of the trilogy um, uh, on Saturday. So we're going to watch that. Um, so that was good. The other movie that's coming out that I'm really, really excited for. And I won't mention any spoilers as much as I want to. But watch the trailer. Is Jurassic World Dominion. Um, that is coming out in June 10th, I think. It's around Issa's birthday. Issa's birthday is on June 8th, and I think it comes out maybe the 9th or 10th that weekend. Um, so super excited about that. Can't talk about it to give it away, but watch the trailer. It's really good. Um, dinos, I know I mentioned um, the new uh, expansion or new game for um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is the one I play. Mm -hmm. uh, Horizon Frontier West. Frontier West. Forbidden yeah. West. Forbidden Horizon West. Forbidden West is coming out um, as far as games. And I think there's an Uncharted. I'm pretty sure there's an Uncharted game. Is there? I just haven't played it yet. In fact, that's how... I think that's how it originally started. Yeah, actually. It's Uncharted, the game. Hmm. Um, but I haven't played it yet. So yeah. that's another another one that I will have to take a look at. Um, that's interesting. They've been making yeah. films from games for years. You know, everything, Tomb Raider. From, everything from Street Fighter to Mortal Kombat. Actually, the game know, came kinda... after for Tomb Raider, yeah. I think. Or no, actually, did it? Which came first, the game or the, the movie? The game was out when I was a kid. Okay, yeah. Please. And Laura has when I was like evolved when I was like in eighth grade. Two yeah. people, my neighbor had Tomb Raider and was playing Tomb Raider yeah. origin religiously. Yeah. <laughs> that was back in nineteen. So the game came out first. So um, yeah, game's definitely older. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> well, I got in on the game scene a lot later after the the movies yeah. um and i'm trying to remember have we seen we did watch the newer one right because i've got both of the laura croft um the angelina jolie versions i thought we watched one without her that was think... the other gal the yeah. other actress um if there's more than that though i don't remember more than one so okay yeah so i'll have to look so now we got to go through and take a look at our movie collection. <laughs> um, well, mostly, we mostly stream everything anyway now, so I kn know that um, mm -hmm. between Vudu and Amazon and Netflix and 
Disney Plus and... <laughs> You can't keep up with them anymore because yeah. they're just they're so. they put stuff in different places and it's like what movies? It's like I to seen? be able to be able to watch, um, the Discovery of Witches, which we binged all six episodes, and the seventh one is coming out on Saturday. I had to do the free trial for Shutter to be able to get a hold of it. Um, so <laughs> it's just there's too many things. Um, it's like too many, too many, so it's like, uh, Drew Barrymore's comment, um, what is it, he's just, he's not that into you, he's just not that into you, mm -hmm. movie, Drew Bar Barrymore at one point, she's like, there's just too many, it's too complicated, you know, they messaged them on, on Instagram, or on Facebook, and then they replied on Instagram, and then they replied in text, and then they had to video chat on something else, and it's just, I totally get it. Which is why Instagram is my main, um, though I do have, like, for the Kentucky Brown Coats, it's Facebook for that. Um, but, uh, you know, and then I have YouTube, and then I have other stuff, so. Um, but we made it through our half hour with no glitches on the iPad, which is awesome! And thank you so much for, for hanging out and being here. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'll have the computer back in time for next week, but we know this works. So, worst case, we'll do this. And if this doesn't work, then we'll use my phone. We'll figure it out. Um, uh, next live stream, technically, is supposed to be Saturday. I will post on Twitter whether or not I will be on Twitch. If I'm on Twitch, it'll be through the Twitch app, and I have to see if I can share screen and do Procreate from there. So it's going to be a thing. Um, it'd be great if I could dual stream my little camera and be able to draw, but I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. So um, we'll see. But the show must go on. We will, we will conquer. Um, and... Uh, I need a nap. <laughs> I'm rambling. But love you guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy your the rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. And we will see you again soon. Now I get to figure out how I do, how I end this. How do I end this? <laughs>